and oil is the other big story of the day. President Bush pounding the table this morning for offshore drilling. We should expand American oil production by increasing access to the Outer, outer Continental Shelf, or OCS. Experts believe that the OCS could produce about 18 billion barrels of oil. That would be enough to match America's current oil production for almost 10 years. David Kirsch is an analyst with PFC Energy. David, you just heard that, 18 uh, billion barrels. Uh, do you think those numbers are right? Yeah, I think that seems a little bit on the high side, uh, particularly when we're talking about the areas of the OCF uh, that are in dispute, primarily off the shores of California and Florida. Uh, we estimate probably reserves in those areas are much more, um, much smaller scale, probably somewhere between 500 million and on the upside maybe 3 billion barrels in those areas. Uh, where in the world then is he getting 18 billion? I, th I think that, I'm not exactly sure where he's getting that number, but it probably refers to the entire um, OCS, which will also include areas off the coast of Louisiana and Texas that uh, should go through with opening to um, drilling um, relatively easily. It may also include the donut hole uh, area that's a moratorium with the border area with Mexico mm. that should be open, um, I believe, within the next year or so. All right, so 18 billion is a realistic number. It just counts all the coastline. Exactly. I mean, it does include probably the areas that are, are likely to be open or are scheduled to be open. Uh, the real areas of dispute are only those off the coasts of California and Florida. All right, so let's just say we started drilling it tomorrow. When right. would we actually get oil out of the ground? If we're lucky, uh, you start drilling tomorrow, maybe three to five years, but I think probably where... Uh, five to seven is a little bit more realistic and probably ten years is where you're going to start seeing uh, the peak production flow out of this area. Well, you mentioned the word peak and that makes me think of Matthew Simmons. He's the chairman of Simmons and Company International. He's here and we know he subscribes to the peak oil theory. We found all there is to find. Uh, Matt, what, what do you think? Uh, do, we, do we have that oil there? I mean, would it, would it help? You know, it would have helped. Uh, we, it's something we should have done. Uh, should have, would should have, have, would have. Uh, it's all past today, tense. Today we're out of rigs, so if we opened everything up. Uh, you know, I think the number's correct that we've drilled something like 50 to 60 wells in the history of the United States and the, off the East Coast. Uh, we'd have to realistic drill thousands of wells before we'd have any idea. We've drilled 1,220 in the Pacific, but all of that's in the Santa Barbara Basin. Mm -hmm. um, we had a spill back in 1969, and basically we cleaned up our block technology, but we, the Greens basically shut down drilling every place. So we're now in a very deep energy hole, and we don't have any rigs, so we have to stop talking about Fair it. Fair point. It takes a long time to get that. Can I, can I just ask you an honest question here? Because this is a big, uh, this, is not, this is not a joke. How ugly is it? If we were to go look for it, would I see it if I'm sitting on the beach on the Jersey Shore on the North no, Carolina oh, coast? No, you wouldn't see anything. You so wouldn't it even wouldn't see, be ugly. You wouldn't even see a rig, most likely. Well, that then, David, makes it sound a little bit more realistic. Yeah, I mean, we do have a shortage of rigs, but I think we also need to put in uh, some realism here. Last time I was on a show with Matt, he was also warning that because of no investments in refining, we'd be facing gas shortages this year and gas lines. That hasn't happened, but... If I apply that same uh, uh, margin of error to what we're saying about rig availability, then I guess I would agree. We're in a, a period where rigs are tight, but we're also building out new rigs. It will ease over the coming years, but yes, we are facing uh, 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 shortages throughout uh, the value change all throughout this oil service sector, which is helping to push up costs. But right. it really doesn't get to the answer of um, whether or not more oil is out there. And Obviously, it is out there, but we're not going to find new significant reserves off the East Coast, probably not off the coast of Florida either, mm -hmm. and California for political reasons, even if it goes forward on Congress, it's probably a dead issue for the oil companies. Fair point, David, and I know Matt would agree, so let me give you the last word, sir. Big picture, is there anything giant out there to be found? For example, under the Arctic, where they say we got three times more oil than Saudi Arabia's got. Forty years, 220 dry holes in the Arctic. So until we find something else, we should stop imagining we're going to find something else. And we should start looking for something else altogether. Yeah, travel less. All right. Well, that is the perfect segue to where we're going to be going next, which is to talk about what could replace oil. Thanks so much to you, Matt. Appreciate your coming in. Very it's always good. good to see you. You also, David.